Hello there folks, it's Mark here from ADSR. Uh, we're going to do another pad based tutorial on Zebra this morning. Again, this is just a quick one to show you basically how easy it is to use your template that we created the other day. So what I'm going to do is go to my patches, find my pad template, which is there. So we've got Now, I want to create some kind of shimmering pad from this. Now, I'm going to show you how easy it is to be very quick in Zebra now that you've got a template. So, we've got a template. I want to add another oscillator. Now, I'm just going to turn all of these off by double-clicking them at the moment. I'm just going to add oscillator 3 right in there. I'm going to come down here to the oscillator module preset, and I want something really high, kind of metallic, but shimmery type. So, I'm just going to check out the bell flipper there. I like that. So I'll just select that. Okay, we'll probably have to deal with the volume, so let's have a listen to it with oscillator 1. I turned the normalise up there to get some more volume into this. It's there. Oscillator 2 on now. Of course, you can just go to Mixer on each one of the oscillators as well and mix them in. So if you just turn all the volumes in, it depends what you want. So and I want vibrato on this one, so I'm just going to turn the other two oscillators off. Just work on this one at the moment to see how I can... The problem is, we've got it on 4 to 1 here, and I want it shimmering a little bit more than that, because LFO1 does control the vibrato. So what we could do here, again, it may make this a little bit more complicated than I want to, is by, I could now create another LFO and make it these settings so that this is just plainly for vibrato, and really, that's really the way you should make the patch. That's me being lazy to be honest in the initial patch template uh, the initial pad template so to, to show you how to do that what I would do is I would go to the matrix I'd come in here and set up the target as it's only really oscillator 3 I want to have vibrato on at the moment so oscillator 3 look for vibrato where are you there we go and the modulation that I want to use is just an LFO, so I'll change it to LFO2. Now what I could do is, whatever I've used LFO1 to modulate, which was, what did we use it for again? Nothing really. I thought we'd used it to modulate something. Okay, it doesn't matter, we'll just leave it as it is. I could have swore we used that to modulate. Ah, there, see, yeah, we're using that to modulate the resonance. But it's only one thing, so we could, in fact, just change that to LFO2. And then work on LFO2 in a moment. And use LFO1 for what it's really meant to be used for, which is vibrato. So I wanted it quicker. That's why I wanted So I wanted to change this. There, you hear the vibrato now? Just turn the effects off, they're doing my head in. That's what I'm after. Now we may have to do that on all three oscillators, because it may sound odd, but let's have a listen. So that's what's wrong. I knew 
knew there was something wrong on there. I kept getting that little click there. The decay was at, at, at the wrong place, basically. Yeah, that's smoother. There's no, there's no longer that. Listen for the click. Yeah. Increasing the release a little bit. A little bit more, maybe. Maybe the decay a little bit more also. I'm just trying to make a smooth envelope. That's better. So we've got the vibrato on all three oscillators. Perhaps we don't really need to do that, but we'll leave it at that anyway. We'll maybe turn the amp of LFO one up. There we can hear the vibrato more now, so that's a bit better. Now, again, just a normal uh, voltage control filter. But it's gone a bit crazy, it's because this, we need to put back to four to one. I think that was all. I think it was kind of like that anyway. So as you can hear, it's kind of shimmery and glistening now. High pitch or kind of got a glass edge to it. So we'll add some delay. I'll add our effects back. And you could adjust your effects um, to whatever you like, uh, if you weren't very happy with that sound. Maybe the attack's a little bit too strong now. No, that's definitely not enough. Let's have a listen to it in a chord sequence that I've got here. a bit weird. There's definitely something strange going on there. It could be... Put the width of that up. It does sound a bit odd actually because the root note never changes in the scale either in the, in the chord. So if I was to do that... I guess, and Let's see if it sounds any better like this. Mm, that's that's not right. There's also something strange going on. It could actually be the filter settings now that we've added a third oscillator. So let's have a mess around with the filter. may have been that LFO2 was simply manipulating the resonance way too much. That's why it sounds a bit better now that I've dropped the LFO. Also, what you could do to make it a little bit better is maybe mess around with the tuning. So let's kind of drop, let's mess around with the, the tuning of oscillator 3. It's got some freaky sounds going on. I love that. I think that's great. So, as you can see, it's very easy to get from a basic patch or pad template, which was this. Okay, it's going to sound a little bit different. 
wrong with it as well for some reason the release was full up it shouldn't have been so if we got from that part just by adding another oscillator but being selective on the type of waveform that we've the wave table that we've used adjusting the filter and uh, adding some vibrato and dropping the tuning here by a certain amount we've got Just that, that tuning doesn't sound very good, so we could maybe try putting it up some. Now it's not the right kind of music to, to play it to, but... Um, But as you can see, it's relatively simple. Because we've got that pad template already in place, we've just created this shimmering pad. Glassy feel. And you can see, just by messing around with a couple, well, just by adding an oscillator. Maybe if I come to, let's try something else. I am going to try, I'm going to add some modulation effects, some chorus. That's just another effect, but that's it. So we've got from the very basic. Let me just open up a another zebra. So we've got from the very basic pad template, which is this. Okay, to this. A whole other dimension to it in relation to harmonics, sounds, and feeling. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's just another pad. Um, we'll get onto some more advanced stuff in the next few videos regarding pads, things like long evolving pads, and I don't know yet, maybe some other gated stuff, but using maybe the arpeggiator and the sequencer, and maybe some MSEG fun and games. Okay, see you in the next videos. Thanks a lot.